Okay, we're with Christine Hewson, uh, Wright County Commissioner candidate for District 1. And the first question tonight for Christine is, what are your thoughts on local government aid? We so seldom hear um, of local government aid. <laughs> it's often from the state and the federal mandating, you know, what, what we need to provide at the local levels. And I believe, I guess, that most everything should first come from the family <laughs> and then from the churches and, and then the community to provide um, aid for people in need. That's, that, I'm a purist that way, and I know that that's, that's not the way that it is, but um, certainly there is, if we're expanding I, um, into thinking in terms of businesses and that kind of thing, maybe I, I probably shouldn't be recording. <laughs> I'm understanding the question completely, but, but you know, there's certainly some business incentives and that kind of thing that I think are wonderful um, as long as they're paid back. Sometimes there's, there's some government, um, some cities have programs that they give businesses, um, you know, a lot of money to start up and that kind of thing. And I don't think that's always fair because some of these businesses are target <laughs> and um, and then local small businesses are, are not given the same opportunity. And a second question, a Wright County resident comes to the commissioner board and complains that the activities of a nearby business is creating noise and traffic issues late into the evening on weekends. The resident has talked to the business owners but to no avail. The business is otherwise in compliance with all city, county, and state regulations. What action should Wright County government take to alleviate the situation? Well, certainly, you know, we need to all abide by, you know, the noise regulations and these are after hours and weekends and we used to always have that nine o'clock was curfew and that means, you know, basically quiet for, for people. Um, and I would, I would um, probably, as a commissioner, before I talk to the sheriff's department or the local police department, I would probably go and, and talk to the business owners and you know say that this complaint has, has been waged against you and um, you know we need to we need to take care of it because um, it it's disturbing. <laughs> So, and if they aren't in compliant, compliance with that, I talk to the, either the police department in the community or the sheriff's department. So they, need to, they need to handle that and issue a citation. And if that, you know, I may have to appear in court, unfortunately, but you know, my, my hope is that people are more, you know, reasonable than that and they wouldn't go to that level. In question three, a large mixed-use development project is proposed for a tract of land just outside of Albertville. Develop the development will include a large office park for which several businesses have promised to relocate over 500 jobs to. Additionally, the new commercial and residential development would increase Wright County property tax base by upwards of a million dollars a year. The only obstacle in bringing this project to fruition is that one of the landowners of the proposed site does not want to sell his land to the developer. What are your thoughts on what the role of county should, what the role of the county should be in resolving this situation? I guess the first thing is why the business, why this de was developed without getting the agreement of the property owner to sell his property in the first place? That would be the first question. And did he, did they have an agreement? And then this man decided, changed his mind that he wasn't in agreement with, with the plan. And then if, um, if he did, you know, the property owner or the, excuse me, the proposed business would have to, you know, find out, you know, what, what are the obstacles? Why did this man not want to sell to the county and if the commissioner or you know someone 
in planning and zoning would like to go and talk to the man and, and ask him about you know what his what his thing his issues are that would be fine but I do not believe that you could force him to sell his property that's his decision so yeah I would I would question why why they um, you know went ahead with this plan without getting his agreement in the first place <laughs>